वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद ए न्यू सेक्शन सेक्शन नंबर वन वन एट रेहुल और सावित्री इन बुक सेवन द बुक योगा कैंटो थ्री दिस सेक्शन टेक्सस इन टू द कंट्री वी एस सावित्री सीज लाइफ सब्ड्यूड बाय सम अदर पावर अर्लियर शी वॉज देयर इन जैगेंटिक प्रपोर्शंस बोथ हर मैजेस्टी एंड हर मनस्ट्रसिटी वर really great frightening also but now savitri is seeing another aspect she is entering into another region of the inner countries savitri could pass to the region of the giant head of life because she was carrying in her soul the image of the truth the golden deity seated in her soul and she was that way safe there could have been the dangers of the valley of the bordering gleam she could have walked into the dangerous intimidated zone but it is the image in her soul which gives the necessary protection everything in our heart therefore become still calm mute and free she is free now from the influences of this life jaho savitri is now entering into another region region of mind of thought and how it governs to a certain extent the impetuosity of life subdues it for a kind of a rain on the speed then journeying forward to the self's wide hush she came into brilliant ordered space savitri has entered into brilliant ordered space already there is some organization there is some control there is some rule it is not simply a desire ambition impetuosity emotion passion it is driving anyone there she came into a brilliant ordered space true this is a brilliant space this is an organized space there is a rule of law there is a rule of thought in this world which can to some extent mold the moments of life shape the moments of life this brilliant space may not be brilliant enough but certainly it is brilliant to overpower life in this space in this brilliant space their light dwelt packed in armed tranquility a chain was on her strong insurgent heart she had been subdued she had been put in chain her violent heart her passionate heart 
we should not accept any rule or rebellious heart which will throw away any authority in him, imposition on her. It is that has, which has gone now. And life is now changed, is subdued. She has to accept somebody else's rulings. They are light well parked in an armed tranquility. A chain was on her strong, insurgent heart, tamed. She has now been kind of domesticated. She has become now a creature in the household living circumstances. She is not in the wild forest. Tamed to the modesty of a measured pace, she kept no more her vehement stride and rush. It has gone. The speed, that impetuosity, the thrust, the surge, that has gone away. She kept no more her vehement stride and rush. She had lost the careless majesty of her muse. Whatever she could think, imagine, conceive, well, that has gone. She is not, it is not there now with her because she changed. She had lost the careless majesty of her muse, careless. She wouldn't care about the consequences. Whatever her heart desired, whatever she wanted to do, she could do, irrespective of the consequences. Now it is no more like that here. She had lost the careless majesty of her muse and the ample grandeur of her regal foes. God were her mighty palms, her splendid waist, suburbed rebels of her peccant play, cut down were the squanderings in desert's bazaar, whatever she would like to spend in the bazaar, whatever wealth she had, she could squander freely all her gains, she could just give away without any feeling of loss because she knew that she could claim them back, but now it is no more so. Cut down were her squanderings in desire's bazaar, who was her despot will. Yes, I want this to be done. The despotism of life has not been curbed, has been forced to become calm and quiet. Her fancies dance, a cold stolidity bound the right of sense. That is what has happened to life now. She is no more stirred by passions, swayed by ambition. All that has gone now, a cold stolidity, that is what is now her nature, bound the right to sense. She could do freely whatever she wanted, but now this will not happen here. Her spirit bounds, they cast in rigid lines, so they have become now defined activities. This, 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 yes, you must do this not the freedom which she was able to do or was doing until now, whatever she wanted, that has gone. Her spirits bounds, they cast in rigid lines. A royalty without freedom was her lot. She is great princess. But now that freedom of a princess is not there with her. She is bound to somebody's rules and laws. A royalty without freedom was her lot. For her now, 
no more the roman holiday that has gone she has to remain in the palace she has to follow the etiquettes the manners the ideas the manners of living in a palace she has to obey to certain ethics of life here so she is no more now that who enjoyed the roman holiday her spirits bounds the cars in the jet lines a royalty without freedom was a lot the sovereign throne obeyed her ministers she is a queen she is the mistress of the house but she has to now obey what the maids are telling her what the servants are telling her she is a sovereign she is a queen but she has to accept the advices of her ministers those who serve her they have become her masters the sovereign throned obeyed her ministers her servants mind and sense governed her house who are the servants mind and sense but it is this mind and it is this sense which is now governing her household activities she has no more free control over her own house this life her servants mind and sense governed her house manas there is mind and from manas the five senses which come out eyes ear touch taste sight all these things which come out from there it is they who are governing her actions and guarded with a phalanx of armed rules she is a queen she should be looking after the army be the commander of her forces but it is they now who have become the rulers in a case and guarded with the phalanx of armored rules so the whole army the array of forces it is they who are guarding her no life you cannot do this you have to follow this you must do this this is the advice and you must accept all that thing and guarded with the phalanx of armored rules the reasons balanced the rain kept order and peace life is told be reasonable don't be irrational don't be passionate don't be impetuous you have to follow certain procedures and you have to govern everything by reason so it is reason now which has put the chain around the neck of life it is a kind of leash by which she is controlled life the reasons balanced rain kept order and peace her will lived close in adamant walls of law no more now the freedom walls have been constructed difficult walls to cross adamant stiff it cannot be easily broken adamant walls of law yes these are the rules you have to go if you are a civilized creature you have to follow the constitutional principles and accept them as a part of your activity coas was her force by chains that feign to adorn it will as though she had put her chains around her but these chains were actually not ornaments on her body they governed everything of hers 
coarse walls or foes may change, they faint to adorn. They look like ornaments, but they are not ornaments. It is like a beautiful bird full of spirit and freedom and all that and joy, who has been put in a huge, big golden cage. Yes, you are there. You cannot cross the skies. We have to follow all your moments. Yeah, all your moments should be now in this particular space only. Her will you close in adamant walls of law. Coerce was or force by chains that faint to adorn. Imagination was present in a fort. Her wanton and licentious favorite. Realities, poise, and reasons, a symmetry was set in this place, sentinelled by marshals of facts. The gate, the soul, for throne, a bench of law. Yes, we have to go and sit here in this room of justice. We have to follow this law, bench of law. The gate to the soul, for throne, a bench of law. For kingdom, a small world of rule and life. So that is the condition in which now life is restrained. Our moments are constrained to certain rules and regulations, essentially governed by reason. The age's wisdom shriveled to scoliast lines. She was carrying the wisdom, but now it is scholar who will rule, who will see the classics in a certain manner. And it is by that way of looking at things only, life has to proceed. The age's wisdom shriveled to scoliast lines, shrank pattern into a copybook device. This is a textbook. You have to follow according to this text. And you are totally governed by rules and regulations. You have no freedom now in that sense. There is a certain ethics, there is a certain kind of morality, there is a certain kind of rationality. It is that which life has to accept and proceed. <coughs> the spirit's almighty freedom was not here. What she had enjoyed until now, the freedom, it has gone. The spirit's almighty freedom was not here. A schoolman mind had captured life's large space. So a small mind who is teaching to children, do this, do that. It is that which is now governing life. But chose to live in bare and paltry rooms, small rooms, inadequate rooms. It is there life has to dwell. Passed off from the too vast dangerous universe. No, you cannot go into that part. You have to stay around here. Fearing to lose his soul in the infinite, you cannot let yourself go into the infinite. You are confined now to this particular place. Even the idea's ample sweep was cut. You may have big ideas but they have been now cut to small bits. Even the idea's ample sweep was cut into a system, chained to fixed pillars of thought, or tributed to matter's solid ground. This is the material reality. In the material reality, you have to go this way, this way, this way. We have no freedom at all. Or riveted to matter's solid ground, or else the soul was lost in its own eyes. If you cannot accept matter's rule, get away from here and go elsewhere. Not here. As long as you are here, you have to follow the rule of matter. You may get lost elsewhere, but then the choices we made here. Either go elsewhere, forgetting about this, 
And if you want to be here, you have to follow matters solid ground. You have to remain on matters solid ground. Obeying the ideas high browed law, thought based throne on unsubstantial air, disdaining us yet flat triviality. It barred reality out to live in its dreams.